Let's do the last block. Slavko Urbanček and both Czech and Slovak departments have united. Authors Urbanček, Zmokova, Garesh lecture on the treatment of hyperhydrosis using Yontophorase's device intended for domestic use. We are being filmed, I guess, so keep smiling. You can talk now if you will. I will be streamed. A very simple, just a very simple statement containing our experience curing hyperhydrosis using Yontophorase's device called electro antiperspirant I would like to point out that I have no conflict of interests, no financial interest with the company producing this device. Hyperhydrosis, you can see its definition on the slide, excessive sweating on any part of the body, affects 2 to 3 percent of the population and has a significant impact on work and social activities of people. You can see here that the sweat glands on the right side of the image are actually innervated exclusively autonomously. There are more places where we can intervene. We can intervene postsynaptically, you can see it here, there are anticholiner, there are anticholinergics. We can intervene presynaptically, for example with botulinum toxin, and of course we can intervene with physical methods such as yontophoresis. According to Severity's score of hyperhydrosis, we distinguish light-moderate hyperhydrosis. Those are the stages 1 and 2 on the scale and medium and heavy. The strategic algorithm is as follows. During light and moderate hyperhydrosis, we start with aluminum chloride, continue with either yontophoresis or application of botulinum toxin, and then we combine these methods in the event of failure. In case of the medium one, we start with the combination of aluminum chloride plus yontophoresis and orbitox, aluminum chloride with yontophoresis and botox, all three together. And in case of very refractory forms, sympathectomy is indicated. During several months, we treated nine patients, they are young patients, average age 30 years, with a long duration of hyperhidrosis, almost nine years. Hyperhidrosis was eight times located on feet, twice on palms, and twice in armpits. Electro antiperspirant device is made by a Czech producer. You can apply yontophoresis on palms, feet, or armpits. This scheme is determined by the manufacturer. Five of the nine patients, having been instructed, underwent the treatment at home, four were treated as outpatients. What we evaluated. Specifications were evaluated during three-week intervals to a total of three weeks. Intensity of hyperhydrosis was evaluated on a visually analog scale. Degree of severity was evaluated using a simple scoring system. It is called hyperhydrosis disease severity scale and the tolerance of treatment was evaluated and finally, patients submitted overall assessment. It is a rather small device, portable, powered by AA batteries. Technical specifications, voltage, resistance, current. The current runs from 0 to 30 milliamps. It can be applied up to 60 minutes. The device has a certificate. It is a certified medical aid. There are the results, in fact in all patients, as you can see, hyperhidrosis was reduced. Treatment was tolerated very well by all patients, they described it as a problem free during every visit. Overall, patients rated the treatment as follows. Sweating was significantly reduced in six patients, moderately in three patients. Hyperhidrosis didn't worsen nor intensify in any patient.
What is yontophoresis? It is the penetration of yons into the skin by electric current. Sometimes yontophoresis can be applied while adding anticholinergics. There is however the problem that anticholinergics for topical application are not produced and if we wanted to dilute anticholinergics we would need large amount and that would be economically unfordable. I'm pointing out contraindications in case you work with the device. Pregnancy, pacemaker and or defibrillator and metal implants are contraindications for yontophoresis. The yontophoresis, called also tap water yontophoresis, is a time-honored method for the treatment of hyperhidrosis. Up to now, the limitation of yontophoresis was that it was provided only in outpatient settings, in a surgery or hospital. And the effects according to the cited papers, you can see considerable reduction of hyperhidrosis of about 70 to 85%. The data comes from a website which states that communication with the patient is important. The cure rate after a few initial problems were solved through communication increased from 85 to almost 100 percent. So what to say in conclusion? Electroantiperspirant is a proven and effective method for the treatment of hyperhidrosis. It is the first device produced in our country from domestic use. Efficiency was demonstrated on a group of nine patients and the results are very encouraging. It helped each of them. The advantage is that electroantiperspirant can be applied repeatedly at patient's convenience and block hyperhidrosis for a very long time. Tolerance and safety proved problem-free. With these drops of sweat, I thank you. Here's Professor. I would like to ask, when does the sweating reappear? When does the sweating reappear? Considering our nine patients. I think we treated the last patient quite recently. It was about one month before the conference deadline. The patient stated that they started sweating after six to eight weeks. You can order electroantiperspirant on website www.electroantiperspirant.com 50-day money-back guarantee. Free shipping worldwide.